Hello again, this is Pearls doing my Let's Play of Journey to Rooted Hold, and we are in the middle of this mimic theme floor, and uh, in the middle of a, a crossroads here, I guess, where me and the mimic are going to part ways, and it's quite sad. Apparently I uh, <laughs> need to actually go back a few checkpoints. I'm not sure what I was doing <laughs> between the video last week, or the, this video and the last, uh, but apparently involved me stepping on this little thing here. But we're going to part ways, and he's going to go into that maze, which in, in which he can't do diagonals, and I'm going to go into this one, which I have a little bit of limited movement of my own. So, let's see what I can do here. Uh, this does not appear to be too difficult. Um, there are some observations about the maze that I can make, I guess. Um, let's see here. First off, I'm going to try to clear out this this opening room. Possibly, maybe. If I can somehow manage that, it'd be great. Very great. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, I do need some leverage here, though, if I'm going to make it through there. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Alright, now this room looks like I need to think about, like, this, this whole chamber, because I can like, only go through it this a couple ways. So it seems like going through here and back around like this is one way and then getting up and uh... let's see here there's a couple ways I could do this yeah let's try it that way so I'm gonna give this a shot uh, let's see how it goes I'm going to try to make it all the way over to this thing. And then back out the same exit. Alright, and I'm going to use that hole as leverage. And now, boom. And I'm going to try to... Oh, let's see here. Maybe... nope. That looks good. And then down. Mm. Now, ideally, it seems like I would like to uh, grab like these two. And then make this loop right here. And I don't think that's a bad idea, so I'm going to give that a shot. And then... Go back to the top here. And uh, up and around. Oh, I don't think that's going to work. I need more room. Perfect, though. That'll work. And then I can come down like this. The only one's left is this one. Clear. Perfect. That will do. Uh oh, what's this all about? Uh. I don't know if I have room for this last one. Uh, I guess I can put it... Will that be enough room? Clear. Okay, whatever. That was easy. <laughs> oh, and that was the last room. Awesome. Okay. And now I can get out of here. This has been an okay mimic floor. It wasn't quite as bad as, what was it, floor 23 of the other uh, game? But, uh, this is really suspicious up here to me. Is there really nothing up here to do? Like, no... Nothing. Okay. That's impressive. Alright. Whatever. I'll just ignore it then. Back through the maze. It had no enemies in it. This room. Good puzzle. Good puzzle in this room puzzle in this room. This is probably one of the more interesting puzzles I've seen in like the whole series so far. And a free open gate now. And I think we're going to get blocked off by the uh, Slayer in terms of getting to... <gasps> Wait. He's going to block us and not let us go to... What, I forget what it was. Lorne or whatever it was. Um. Oh no, Bethro. You're not getting out now. I have my reputation. 
situation as a professional at stake. Well then, I wouldn't want to blemish that. So since we're not going to go up to the Blorn, uh, sewers access looks like we're going to be going down Careful, to uh, containment, whatever that means. But before I do that, uh, which is a very clear exit down here, um, whoops, I see, uh, looks like another secret. And I'm going to uh, check it out. Oh, this is weird. How am I supposed to kill this snake? I don't see any goblins or anything like that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Spiders. Alright. Apparently this one's on a spider as well, which, if there's a spider in here, that could prove very bad. So, okay, this room at the very least needs to be done before that snake, because I, I don't think I've done this right. Uh, oh, there's one down there. Now, how am I going to kill this snake? Oh, there's a spider over here, too. Ow! Oh, God. Okay, so he could be killed there. What's down in this little area over here? Is there a sp was there a sp Oh, there is. Which means... that I'm going to have to take care of this spider first before crossing that path. And then that means the probably the next thing I should do is this one before this one dies and then take care of the rest. Okay. Alright, and then I'll go take care of you. Come here, come here, come here. I want you dead now. Because you're going to get annoying if I don't take care of you right now. Done. And you were easy enough. Had a spider I had to check out in here. Okay, and now it just leaves me with this one snake over here. This is not too bad of a secret room. Clever. Clever use of spiders, but uh, not too bad. Come on, get up here. Oh, well, he had the drop on me. Okay. I think that's how I had to do it, something like that. I just need to do it a little better. myself a wall here and then see what this like. okay that finishes that room and I just have to clear out these trap doors to get you to escape from this tiny little room and I am on my way out awesome that was a pretty fun little secret room it's like a bunch of little mini puzzles at once that is the puzzle was I had to do them in a certain order and I know the hook is sharp but I'm gonna go down to whatever containment is now found two secrets the tenth level. One of the most baffling mysteries of our discipline is the origin of the organism known as the living tar. Oh, God. Uh, there are many different hypotheses, and little evidence for any of them, but the one notion that every sensible person must reject is the crackpot theory that tar is, in fact, artificial creation of a clandestine underground society whose scientific knowledge, is f knowledge far exceeds our own. To even contemplate such a thing is surely a sign of insanity. Some lecture notes, apparently. Uh, so, tar being an artificial creation is... I know that contested, right? Is that what that... I'm supposed to get out of that? that? There's no way that the Empire created tar, right? 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 Or some tar society, whatever. Okay. This well, seems like a pretty normal tar introduction here. Nothing I'm going to be able to finish in the time limit, but if you remember tar from my uh, first series, um, it's pretty much the bane of my existence. That's okay. I've gotten a lot better with it over time, so... Uh, Nothing to be afraid of this time around, I don't think. Alright, so this looks like a good stopping point, this checkpoint here. So, uh, on my next video, we will find out how I deal with uh, Tar once again, and what Journey to Rooted Hold 
has in store for us. But this has been your host, Pearl, so goodbye.